Hello and uh, welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, my name is Blackjack Johnny and hopefully today I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, curved walls for your um, buildings. We're also going to be taking a look at creating curved pavements and um, anything else we want to curve basically, just this uh, wall that comes around the outside here. Um, yeah, we're going to take a look at uh, the various things we can do to create our curves. So there's a couple of ways we can go about it. So let's get started. I'm just going to leave this prefab real quick. I'll come back into my uh, little test map here. I've got my uh, trusty actor in the center of our world. And I'm just going to click on my cult texture here. I'm just going to draw in um, a simple brush here. This, this brush is just going to represent... Uh, um, the walls of our building um, as you can see I'm just drawing this in nice and quick nice and simple and the first thing we need to uh, think about is how big we want this curve to be if I just draw in another brush up here uh, for another part of our building wall here if I stop it there we could create a small curve in here if we wanted to uh, but for this example, I'm going to make it quite big, so I'm just going to pull that up there slightly. I'm just going to move this brush over. Um, so we need to create a curve between these two brushes now, and there's several ways we could do it. The first one I'm going to show you, I'm just going to draw out a brush that's perfectly in line with the outside edge of these two brushes we drew in. Um, and to create the curve, I'm going to come up to Patch, Primitives, Bevel when I hit bevel there you see it's taken that brush and it's turned it into a curve patch and without moving it I'm going to press R to enter free rotate mode and I'm just going to left click drag and rotate it so it lines up perfectly with the outside edge of our brushes we created and that's it really and we just uh, created a nice little curve there between our two brushes and if we wanted um, to create a um, a curve on the inside of this um, then all we can do simply is uh, bring up the thicken tool by pressing Control shift t i'm going to leave it um, on grid 8 but i'm going to deselect seams i'm just going to click ok and there you go it's just created um, a mirrored curve on the inside of our uh, building there of course one thing you have to consider um, when you're making curves and using these in your buildings is that you won't be able to portal them um, the easiest way to get around that is just to create some brushes on the inside that stop uh, stop this from being part of the um, the main structure of the building so to speak but uh, you can figure that out for yourselves a little bit later on so I've just chucked a quick texture on that there and uh, some of these textures work a little bit better than others but um, you might need to play with it a little bit so let's look at creating a curved path to go with this curved wall now I'm just going to draw out this brush um, I'm going to draw it in line with our uh, building wall there. I'll um, do the same up here. And we need to create a curve in between these two brushes now. Uh, I want to show you the simplest way to do that. I'm just going to draw in a brush, a good sized brush, as long as it's square with our pavement here. I'm going to come up to Patch, Curve Patch, and I'm going to leave it 3 and 3 for our density. I'm going to press V to bring up our verts and uh, I'm just going to start moving these around. Uh, to understand a bit more about what I'm doing here in the process to go through uh, making this bend, um, if you watch my bend tutorial um, when I was bending pipes, it's the same principle here. So if you haven't watched that tutorial, then uh, please go ahead and watch it. It'll really help you out with this bit. But you can see I'm just manipulating these verts to create a beautiful uh, 90 degree curve around our wall here and as it so happens we've lined everything up nicely um, our curve and our wall patch uh, lined up really nice uh, at this point I'm just gonna give it a nice quick texture um, I'm just gonna come up to uh, textures uh, surface type asphalt uh, I'm just gonna see what I can find in here that'll do me if I just use the natural setting because we've got a bend in that that patch there you see the texture follows it so we could use that if we wanted to maybe not so much for this example I might just change the texture for something a little less uh, busy <laughs> um, but you could use that for alpha blending if we wanted to um, for the natural setting so I'm just going to give it a far simpler texture for this example so that's it we just created a nice curve for our pavement and at this point if we wanted to keep this as just a, a pavement and not have a wall on the outside of this 
what I would do is I select my curve patch and I'll bring up the thicken tool, control shift T. Um, this time I'm going to thicken it to a grid 8 and leave seams selected. And there we go, that's it. Let's just thicken that up and just created ourselves a nice little um, bended uh, pavement there. And I'm just going to come in and delete the excess uh, patches that were created when we thicken this. No one's ever going to see them, they don't need to be there, so we can just get rid of them for optimization. Just going to texture this quickly, and there we go. We can see that there. It's a really nice uh, curved pavement. If we wanted to just make a pavement there, uh, but I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, put a wall on the outside of this, line everything up, maybe fix any errors we might come across when doing this. So we've created a curve for our uh, building. We've created a curve for our pavement. Let's uh, build another wall here, and I'm just going to show you basically another way we could create a curve in our wall. Um, just by using curve patches rather than using the bevel tool. So I'm just going to draw this brush in and I'm going to draw it at uh, grid 16 and I'll make it quite thick on this wall. Do the same up here. Um, so now we need to make this curve uh, between this brush and this brush and I'm going to show you the quickest and easiest way that we can go about doing that. Uh, I'm just going to come up here, I'm going to draw another brush in and I'm going to draw it out so it's perfectly in line with the outside edge of our other brush down here. Uh, let me just switch into my side view here so you can see it. it's perfectly in line with the outside edge there and what we're going to do, we're going to stay in this view because we want to create the patch along this axis uh, so I'm going to come up to patch, simple curve, 3 and 3 uh, I'm just going to uh, move it to the outside edge of this brush I'm also going to invert this uh, by just by press, pressing uh, control I Press V on my keyboard to bring up my verts. Uh, left click, drag, and just all, use Alt left click to uh, pull that vert and line it up with the outside edge of that brush. Uh, next thing we're going to do, grab that middle vert and just pull it straight down. And at this point, I'm just going to be a little bit careful because we need to make sure that the width uh, between uh, the pavement and our wall here is uh, as even as we can get it from uh, start to finish point. So you might need to pull that out. Uh, just to play around with it, do it by eye, you should be able, should be okay. So once we're happy with our bend, I'm going to press Control shift t bring up the Thicken tool again, and I'm going to thicken this to uh, a grid 16 this time. Um, since our surrounding brush is a grid 16, leave seam selected and press OK. And bang, there we go, we've got our wall in place, it's a nice curve there. Again, uh, when you thicken the uh, patches there, delete any excess seams. It will really help with optimization. If it doesn't need to be there, then it doesn't need to be there. Get rid of it. <laughs> so if I just come in here and have a look, see, um, we can see our pavement patch isn't quite lining up with our wall patch here. So I'm going to show you how to fix that real quick. Uh, you can see there's a gap in there. We don't really want that. So I'm just going to select both of these patches. And I'm going to convert these uh, curved patches into terrain patches. Uh, I'm also just going to resize this patch um, just so it's... Uh, level with our pavement patch and then I'm going to select my wall patch first as my destination patch and I'm going to select my pavement uh, patch second and we're going to come in here and just uh, the reason we uh, converted these into terrain patches is so we can just come in and vert weld these up so everything lines up there's no gaps everything looks nice <laughs> and uh, it'll keep everything nice and clean for you inside Radiant and there we go, we've just uh, lined everything up, everything's looking good. Just going to throw a quick texture on this wall here. Again, when you're texturing your curve uh, patches and things, it might take a little bit of work depending on the texture you use. Some are a little bit easier to use than others. Um, I tend to use uh, sort of a more repeatable brick texture or something of that nature. Nothing too complicated, it's just easier to line up. So there we go, we've just created... Um, three different ways to create a curve and uh, what we should always always do when we're creating curve patches and thicken, thickening these up is check our light grid that's a must just press shift L to enter light grid go around select your patches and just use either uh, natural or light map on your surface inspector and just go around and have a look see this top brush here that could give us some problems make sure you get that one just use the natural setting should do you fine and that's just about it for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it um, I really hope it helps you out. Thanks for watching.